All right, mate. I think it was a long time coming for everybody across the country for supporters to get back into the stadium. It's unbelievable to see people behind my goal again. I actually wave to supporters, see kids in the stands. That's that's what we play for. We want to make them happy. I think knowing um, a month ago when I signed uh, permanently for the next three years and having that experience the last couple of weeks of what it's going to be like with the supporters here and, and the noise that they can generate, I'm I'm really excited um, for the times ahead. Obviously last season when there was no fans here it became difficult in games if you were maybe behind or um, maybe try to hang on to a lead or something like that. Even down in England at the start of last season when I was there the first six months, the games were really unenjoyable for, for the players down there as well. I think everybody was in the same boat. Ultimately it just becomes a pitch with, with four corner flags and you're, you're all just playing the same the same game. There's no real fear factor going to any place. There's, there's nothing to be scared of and, and sometimes you miss that. But the fact that it's back again this year and, and we're all really looking forward to it and we can't wait to be honest. When you turn up for a match day on a Saturday, you're prepared to play in front of a big crowd. Um, you know you need to perform well because a lot of people are watching. Um, when you're walking into the stadium, the supporters are arriving at the same time as you, um, on the way in, etc., getting pictures. So you, you want that feeling, you miss that feeling on a match day. So that was one of the, the main factors why I did come back because I feel that support from all the Motherwell fans and it, and it, it helps me perform every week, to be honest. It was an unbelievable reaction, obviously when I signed, my phone kind of blew up and there was so much stuff for me to, to, to see, but honestly there was, there was that much that I, could, I couldn't even go through it all. Probably now is a good time to thank everybody for, for their messages, so there were so many. I didn't see them all, but I got the vibe, I got the feeling of how much happiness it brought to people that I come back and I'm really appreciative of that. I really enjoy playing in front of supporters, I think it adds a bit of pressure. I must get an abuse off the way fans, that's that's why you play, it's amazing, it's a good bit of banter as well. The fact that that wasn't there last year was, was pretty disappointing, but when the, the big crowds start coming back here in a, in a few weeks, that's when it's really going to be good. I just love the noise of the fans, the crowd, it's, it's, it's brilliant. You want to feel attached to them, you want them to be attached to the team during the match. Um, and ultimately we, we play for them, so if we can try and get results uh, to make them happy and send them home happy, and then that's you've done your job. Well, it come to Willery on the rebound. Pass one, deflected and in! Motherwell have taken the lead! And it's Willery, incredible! There's times when maybe we dropped points last year that we wouldn't have if the fans were here, and um, I'm sure there's going to be points that we're going to gain this year that they're, they're going to massively help us. For example, the, the Queen of South game when we were 2-0 behind, um, the fans really motivated us in the second half to, to come back and, and get that, that victory, that 3-2 victory. You're not so sure if you, you come back and get that if the fans weren't in the stadium, so that was a massive help. It really did feel like a proper game of football again. Carroll whips one in. Up goes Mugabe! Bevis Mugabe with a towering header! A monumental moment from Mugabe! Last year we had a lot of great away wins that we never really got a chance to celebrate with the supporters. Um, Ross County away, Kilmarnock away, they, they spring to mind straight away from my time here. Um, really good uh, victories at difficult venues and you want to go and celebrate that with supporters so really excited that we can do that again this year and um, the away games and especially the home games here at Fur Park we can't wait to see everybody back We've had clubs announcing all week they're getting back to full capacity now Motherwell have said they're next to join the list all 13,500 seats will be open to home and away fans starting with the game against Dundee at the end of the month No restrictions against Dundee yeah. So exciting, it's, it's a bit crazy to say that, but um, all the players are obviously we go one game at a time. But I think when something's not happened for so long and you can see it um, in the near future, it does make you really excited. We can't wait for the noise, we can't wait to play in front of them, and hopefully put on a, a good performance to get the right result for them as well. And I think there's plenty to be optimistic about, and, and the fact that we're only going to get better as well is, is, is good signs for us. And, and we trust each other as players, and we trust all the staff, and um, we're really looking forward to, to what the season brings. There's a, a, a nice bit of excitement about the place. try to instill that belief in the players that there's a game there to be won. Don't feel sorry for yourselves, no one else will be. Forrest shifts onto his left, goes for goal and fires Livingston in front.
And as things stand, Motherwell need a big 45 minutes ahead. Ball into the box, headed down and turned in off the post. Pulling Motherwell from behind yet again. Tony Watt makes his mark. Tony Watt thinks about the shot, reverses it, what a save, and in front of in by Liam Grimshaw! What a moment for him, the fans' favourite, with a huge goal! And he celebrates with the crowd, look how much it means to him, look how much it means to them, what a brilliant moment that is! The full-time whistle goes, and now Motherwell roar from behind to win 2-1 and unlikeliest of winners in Liam Grimshaw who scores his first career goal and secure a first three points of the league campaign. We've proved to ourselves that we can win games, difficult games. We have to prove to everybody else we can do that consistently and we have to build on today. How are you? Morning. We're from a little village in Ireland. It's called Clunroach. It's not really a footballing village. It's more of a GA village. I moved back home to Ireland when I was five. I was born in London. That's where mum and dad worked at the time. And then I came back and I lived on an old farm. It's a nice little village. Everybody knows everybody. And it's just one of them where you can't do nothing without getting spoke about, either in the church or at the side of a pitch. When I was an electrician, I moved up to Dublin for two years. I was living in digs. I was coming home at the weekends, and then I got moved then to Leicester, and I was thankful enough man moved over with me, so I had a bit of comfort there, and now I'm here in Scotland on my own. I'm used to people saying hello on the side of the street and stuff like that. Like Scottish people are the exact same as Irish people. Um, Leicester was a lot different. Everybody kept themselves, which... I didn't really like because I like to speak and talk and, and stuff. So, now nah, it was it was one of them where we just I just had to get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Hi, Daryl O'Connor here. Delighted to sign for Motherwell. Can't wait to see you all back at Fear Park. Kidding. <laughs> 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 There we go. When I signed for Motherwell, I was, I was in a hotel and myself and Kevin Van Beam were, were in the hotel together from day one. And the two of us were looking for places. Kev found the apartment that I'm in now and he picked one and I picked the other one. So Kev just lives upstairs in me, which is handy. At least I have somebody around me that helps me settle in and vice versa. He won't answer. Guaranteed he will not answer. Kev will not answer. Hi Kev! What's up? You alright? You finished? We're gonna come up. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. You're only upstairs. No, you're mental, man. <laughs> Put a hat on you and we'll be upstairs in a minute. No, I'm not opening, bro. <laughs> what do you want? Said hi. It's gonna say hi. The culture in Scotland is exactly like at home, so I feel a lot more comfortable up here already. I was here I think two weeks on trial and, and the boys at home were like, Darry, you've had more fun in Scotland than you've had in Leicester in the last two weeks, than the last two years. So, no, nah, it's, it, it's, it's good. I'm, I'm maturing an awful lot more uh, off the pitch as well, and especially on the pitch with the players we have in the squad, they're, they're helping me every day and, and making me a better player every day. The type of player I am, so there, like there is two different sides to me when I'm on the pitch. I am aggressive, loud, composing the ball, I demand they ring off my teammates, but off the pitch, I take everything with a pinch of salt, I laugh, I'm bubbly, I don't have a care in the world really, I'm just a happy-go-lucky kind of lad. But obviously, when I, when I cross the white line, obviously I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's my job and I, I love doing my job. So, I'm, yeah, I'm a very serious character, yes. 
and my nose style centre half who just loves defending. I love getting mucky, I'd rather have muck everywhere than be clean coming off the pitch. That's the way I was brought up at home in Ireland, it was just one of them where all the pitches were mucky. I just loved getting muck everywhere. Mum would be driven mad like with, with the muck in the car and everything like that, but I felt fulfilled every time I came off the pitch. I'm still the same now, I, I still still thrive off a clean sheet. I support United, Manchester United. Um, I always liked Vidic and Ferdinand at the time when I was growing up. Then the more I grew, grew older, the more I watched Vidic because that's where I, I, I mainly played. And I just love, I, I, I continue to see pictures out of blood pouring down his face and stuff like that. So that's the type of centre half I am. I, I, I'll put my body on the line for anything. It is tough. Uh, I have got a few bumps along the way in a few games I've played already, mainly the Airdrie game, I, I brought me on. There's a pic there is a picture of me. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome <laughs> that was me pride was hurt that day. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. Scottish football is good. It's it's a good standard. It's a huge year for me. Um, first year of men's football. It's, it's always a big test for everybody. Um, I I set personal goals for myself. But most importantly, it's, it's the team goals, and if I can help the team achieve their goals while also achieving my goals, well then that's a win-win for everybody. We're back at Fur Park, the sun is shining, and the supporters are out in tremendous numbers for the return to Fur Park for the first time since the start of the month. Today was about grit and determination and togetherness. I thought the players were excellent. I thought we showed uh, great courage to grind out that three points. Maybe Carroll to deliver from here. Flicked in and into the back of the net it goes! by Tony Watt. He can't stop scoring at the moment. I don't think we're at our best today in possession. Could do things a little bit better, but you know, it, it takes all sorts of abilities and qualities to, to win games of football. Listen to that roar. The full-time whistle secures another win for Motherwell. The support of the Motherwell fans has probably never been more crucial than there. They went through the final 10 minutes with a man down and that's when the fans stepped up to the plate, roaring their team on to victory here at Fur Park. I think we had a, a back 5,000 at the end, uh, keeping the clean sheet. Everyone was together which was a brilliant sight to see and we'd like to give them the three points.